Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Vectored Armada. This is a game that uh, Luke AP, who is actually one of the developers for Annihilate the Spants, he reached out to me and actually asked me if I wanted a uh, to check out this game and wanted a key for it. So I was like, yeah, sure. Um, not sure if this is exactly my type of game, but it reminds me of um, Particle Fleet Emergence and uh, Astralid, I believe is the name of the game. I've played both of those games, especially when I was younger, played those games a lot. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that this game does remind me of them. But once we kind of get into it, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Welcome to the war campaign. Move around using left click and drag or use the BASD or your arrow keys. Zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. Left click and orange node, node to view the next battle. You can revisit and retry past battles. Okay. So just move around. Okay. So here we go. Welcome to the great skies. I'm Weir, leader of the Reve rebellion. You've noticed our oppressor, our dictator, we've struggled against him. We've got manpower, resources, and equipment, but we don't have a fleet architect. So I'm glad to have you. So I'm supposed to be the fleet architect building a fleet for these guys. Build a ship in the workbench and save it. Compose a fleet with it. Pick your fleet and fight. Okay. Okay, so I have to go to the workbench. Okay. So this, this is what's on the main menu, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's clear the workbench. And then we're being tasked with with um creating a fleet um yeah so we have five thousand ah or whatever um wow okay awesome <laughs> ah so awesomeness that's the but that's the okay that's the currency that's being required. Lines, links, blocks over distance. Okay, yeah. So I would definitely appreciate a little bit more. Um, wait, making ships. Blocks have white building blocks. I'd, I'd love a bit more of a tutorial. Because this just feels very overwhelming. Um, so something a little bit more basic, I think, would be nice. Every block costs awesomeness. The campaign gives you a limited budget. Every block has a tier. Campaign missions have tier limits. Thinking movie. As long as a ship has at least one control block, it will stay alive. Ships need a lot of thrusters, utilities to move around and turn nicely. Shooting and fighting. Weapons need energy and battery to fire. Shields need energy to regenerate health. All damage is permanent. Design ships to be sturdy. So is there any way to... Because it says all damage is permanent. So that must mean that there's no way of like repairing a ship during battle. Am I understanding that correctly? You can use socket and joint blocks to help you link ships together physically in the fleet composer to make crazy con contraptions this way. Okay. I think, okay. With modest weight and health. Yeah, see, I don't, I, so what, <laughs> what is important? So obviously not having too much money. I think, okay. What do, what do these things, what in the world? Why is that so small? That's so, how do you delete? Oh. Delete. Delete is R. Okay. X. R. Okay. 
Ah, and so you can make... Okay, wow. There is so... There... Oh. 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 Let's, let's try to make something basic. Let's go with a normal seat to make it big and boom okay so we have this thing here okay um building block okay let's can we just get a can i just get a, a square there yeah see square okay I, um... <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> oh, this is so overwhelming. There's so much. How much does this cost so far? 585... Oh, I... This is not gonna go well. Um... Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a big guy. That's a big, that's a big boy. Look at that. That's a, that's a, okay. Hefty long range missile, strong enough to endure. Okay, so yeah, we want like a heavy firing weapon. Powerful strike weapon able to spread in, okay. Either that, ooh, I am a sucker for hangar baits. Agile interceptor able to hunt down and swarm targets with close range auto cannons. Stands up outside of most the long range laser unable to target other drones or missiles. This drone launches a long range shock. So I am always a sucker for anything that's going to spawn units. So, wait, what's the problem? Wait, why is, why is there, a, why is there a red triangle? What does that mean? Why, what is that, what, what does that mean something? I don't know what that means. I, I don't. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know what that means. Oh, I could. I. I. There's. There's literally a square. Oh, is that like the center of mass? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Maybe that's what that means. Okay. So let's. Let. Okay. There, wow. There is a there's a lot to process here. So this thing isn't. Oh my gosh, that's really bothersome. That's so. That oh that. Okay, that's that's better. That's better. Happy, I'm happier with this. Okay, yeah, center of gravity. We want that to be. Well, actually, we probably want these to be connected like that. Have them kind of be at the back, I think. This is a continuous supply of energy for weapons and launchers. When a ship dies, this block will harmlessly destroy itself, releasing any blocks. Uh, faces the nearest most awesome threat. Shrink and grow as they take damage. Never. Failing, but never truly using the shield. Oh, damn it. Um, only fail once they run out of shield. Coming back online once enough shield health has been charged. Accelerate, reverse, rotate, or strike the ship depending on its angle to the center of mass. Wow. Okay.
Okay. So. We want... So this increases by six times. Now, does the price increase by six times? No. Actually, it actually increases by a little bit less than six times. The six times would be 654. So its price is actually like 10 cheap. <laughs> so this whole shit <laughs> is about how it's about the budget. Okay. Uh, can I just go like one ship? Can I just go like just one? Oh, you know what? There's tears. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Ooh, every every <laughs> thing I've added so far has been a tier three. Oh no. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Oh, all of the bays are tier twos. Okay. 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 Um. <laughs> oh no. They have point defense weapon with able, uh, able to stop missiles in their tracks. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, let's. Oh, oh, that place is on top. Okay. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. We're just gonna. Uh oh. Alt to duplicate. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um. Uh. I. Okay. Can you... Okay. One thing that I would like to have... Maybe there's a way to do it already. Alt. Click and drag. There's kind of a way to do it. I would like a way of just... As long as you have it selected, just being able to kind of like click, 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 you know, like I, I would like that, but whatever, it's fine. Efficient device for storing large amounts of energy, energy generators need these. Um, so this is cheaper, holds ten, seven times less energy has about 10 times less health actually a little bit less than 10 times less health but it's about eight times cheaper so it would actually be worth it i also would like hotkeys if possible some, some hotkeys would be nice. Um, okay. Now, all those, although these things do look like thrusters, they indeed are not. So, putting them in places is going to be a little annoying. Thrusters. I think, since since this is going to be... What is this going to be? Uh, I want this to be an agile... Thing. Okay. Which is exactly the point of these launchers. Okay. <sighs> wow, they're expensive. Um, then maybe, then maybe, maybe, maybe we don't go with that. For light with significant damage and appreciable range for its size. So what? So its range is fifty. What is the range on this? This range is two hundred. Okay. Maybe we don't put. Maybe three is too much. Do 
I think three is too much. Yeah. Let's not put three. Maybe we only have two. We're gonna need... We're gonna need some crazy good thrusters on this thing. We don't need a lot of... Dart thruster. High, compact high speed propulsion. Slow, cheap propulsion. Normal and portable. Okay, I think we go with. Whoa. Okay. This is. Okay, that is quite the. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> and, and you know what? We could put, like, a little shield on this guy, too. Um, soft shields shrink and grow as they take damage. Okay. Uh, the little shield around this thing. Now if we had this instead, yeah, it provides a bigger... Okay. And then this thing provides a shield. Which is like a little projector. What is the air... What is... What is that? Shrinking... Faces the nearest most awesome threat. Ah, but never... Okay, so it rotates. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. We're learning, we're learning. This is a this is the learning phase. What is okay, so that just gets rid of that. Okay. A shotgun. Shock gun. Severely damaging shields and impeding the functioning of utilities. Okay. How much is the ship so far? Okay. Kind of expensive, I'm gonna be honest. But but What? Okay, targeting toward targeting. Shocks a wide area all at once, severely damaging shields. So we could put that like. Okay, I get. We're, okay, we're putting it right there. Okay. That's fine. So these. Yeah, and these things have a very large range. This thing, the laser node. I have. The, the, the red lasers. That's just, it's just showing the radius. Like, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. So that's, okay. So why the radius is so massive compared to the ship, I guess it's just because of the range and it's showing you the range that it would be able to. So do I have this backwards? Do I have the ship? Is the whole ship? Is there a way to rotate? There we go. You know, rotating the ship... <laughs> I, I don't know what I was, what was I expecting from rotating the ship? Like, I, I don't know. It would be nice if you could have stuff point whatever direction you want it to point, but I can, un I can understand why it doesn't quite work that way. Okay, so these things, I guess the blue little arrows just yeah, I think that's just telling you the direction that they're going to be facing, which makes sense. 
Um, yeah, it ma makes sense. It makes sense. Um, yeah, let's. Why are you? Why do you look that way? Oh, because uh, okay, yeah, it might help if I put a control thing on it. That probably help a lot. Um, do these do the same thing? A thinker. Watcher. I think we're going to go for the cheapest option. There we go. Um... ship okay now our ship looks a little bit more symmetrical it looks nice yeah you know what i like the geometry of this game i think that's the part that i'm really enjoying right now is the different shapes in the geometry of it all. okay now now I think it's ready for field testing. Okay, so I can put it on a different team. Or something. Um. Okay. So I mean luckily I know how to get my guy back. It's not like he was all that complex. I just thought when it said save your bench it saved my guy but um clearly not quite the not quite the case Um... Okay. Uh, I had a... 
Oh yeah, 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 sorry. I also forgot about these things. And then we had the thruster. This is bad boy. Okay. Okay, and then we had this thing. Okay. You know what, we could probably get rid of some of these whole stuff. And kind of move it all. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm not sure what the little blue head thing represents. Um, but I'm just gonna assume that it's probably a good idea to have him facing that way. Um, okay. Um, how, so, um, how do I, how, how do I, I should team switches, I... What? This is what I mean. There's so much... There's so much information. I don't know what... How do I, but I, so I have a ship saved. Um, I always think over and hitting B. Okay. B. Okay, there we go. Ship, I'm just gonna put ship one. Okay. We have a ship. Three of these. And this is gonna this um so our, so our opponent faces that way. Right? Opponent is that way. Street size B. Uh well we're just yeah. We're okay. Safe. That's her fleet. <laughs> I <t> <laughs> We're just... <laughs> just gonna see what happens. We're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> We're just gonna see what happens. Um... 
Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think my guys really know what they're doing. This guy is the only one that's kind of learned how to use his weapons. And so he's... <laughs> Where is he going? Oh! <laughs> you know, I think I found a problem with my guys. Um... So I might have forgotten to, to make it so that they can, they can turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was... Okay. Yeah, let's, um, okay. Yeah, let's... Let's make it so that you can at least turn. I, but I don't understand, I don't understand how these things work. That looks sick, though. I don't know how the, how it really works, but it looks cool. That looks cool. Again, not sure how it's gonna work, but it looks cool. I probably don't need that many things on there, so I'm gonna get rid of them. That's a big battery. <laughs> okay, I, okay. A volt cell. Um, see, Volt Shards, I prefer, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to do the math in my head, so you get, so for every energy, or let's say every, It's about 2.2 roughly for every 10 energy. 22, 100, yeah. But for this, it's more like... Uh, basically, I think this is more energy, or more cost efficient. Because if we were due to that, that would be, if you, we divide about both of those by 10, 7.5 energy for every 1.75. So that would be, uh, or 1.75 times three would be 4.25. So actually, the volt cells are more more cost efficient. They weigh a little bit more, which is probably their. And they're not quite. Oh, volt cells! Why do you, why you got to do me like this? Oh, volt cells! Oh, volt cells! Riley. A volt battery. So yeah, the volt battery is just like the upgraded version of that. But it just, it just, oh, I wish, oh. I wish the batteries were... 
I wish the batteries were a little bit more square. Can we? Can, what can't? Why can't we just get a square battery? Why can't things be a bit more square? Whatever. 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 We're just gonna. We're gonna. We could. How much does this? How much does this cost? Okay. If I put some squares. Okay. We're gonna save. And we're gonna hit B. And we're gonna save it. And then we're gonna go back to the campaign. We're gonna go here. And then we're gonna pick this fleet. We're not gonna pick that fleet because I still need to fix it. Because I need to load in. five of these have them all face the right direction now they should be able to turn I think I could have actually just yeah that's fine okay so we'll save the fleet and then then now 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 we say so it's Does this work in the campaign? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. So now we pick this one. Now. Now they can turn. But you know what? They're such rebels, they choose not to turn. Okay, that one, that one's turning. That, they're all, okay, that, they're all turning, actually. They're doing a good job. They're learning. They're learning. They're getting better. They're turning, and they're using their brains. We would appreciate a little bit more turning, I'm going to be honest, and a little bit more destruction of... A little bit more destruction, please. These guys are doing a very good job at destroying your missile. I would greatly appreciate a little bit, a little bit more effective barrage. I mean, they are slowly dealing damage. And that shield is doing a good job. It's really putting in work for him. Is there a way to speed things up? <laughs> I would like to speed things up, please. Nice. Okay, so now we just have to do that a second time. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that missile. Look at him go. That guy had a... That man had a journey. He was on a mission. I, I can't control them, so they're just kind of... Where are you, where are you going? Sir! Sir, get back in action! <laughs> He's trying to leave. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to... Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, now we need to. Oh, uh, <laughs> now we need to. Take a, we, okay. So what's the... What, what is it? So craft, so we can have five crafts. Okay. How about, so how about we load our ship one? And let's, let's actually, like, rotate. Let's rotate. Why can I not rotate? There we go. Rotate. Okay. So now we save that. Now my ship. Now my ships will be facing the right direction. Okay. 
So now we can have now we can add to this. Oh my gosh, how long have I been recording for? 40 minutes. Jeez. We've come through one we've come through one mission. Um t still tier one. Okay. Um <laughs> So we have good propulsion. They can turn. Kind of. Uh, I think the biggest problem. Well, for one, they weren't they they weren't really that great of a job at taking down any new like missiles and stuff like that. Okay, so seven, seven, so ten thousand divided by seven. That is about. Not quite 1500. I don't think. No, it's not. The 7 times 1500 is 10,500. So, I think. 7 times 1000, 7,500 times 7, 3500. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to need this to be cheaper. But also try to make it symmetrical. Okay. Is that cheaper? That is cheaper. And... I, I could get away with 1400. I could probably even get away with 14. I don't think 1450. Because 1400 times 7 would be 9,800. So we could get away. So we our budget per air per craft is a little over 1400 like 1400 and 20 30 40 1400 20 would be 99 40 Uh, yeah, so about about fourteen twenty is our is our budget per per craft. Unless we wanted to go completely crazy, which we could. I don't think I want to. The shield is very nice. Laser node is nice. It's not super accurate, but. It's good, nonetheless. I mean, it does it does its it does its job, so that's what we need. Um, how much energy production does this thing have? Three hundred per second, and it drains at two hundred and twenty-six, but its peak is four hundred and twenty-six. Is that what that's saying, right? Is that saying peak is peak drainage is four hundred and twenty-six? I think that's what it's saying. Each of those generate a hundred, then this, then the brain generates. Okay. So yeah, I think just I, mean, I could make like because I think because the thing that we really want to do is just anything that has like you know like. Anything that has like uh, missile defenses, things like that. We're gonna want to pierce through as quickly as possible. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's just a square. They all do the same. And the node was, yeah, the cheapest. Okay, so. How much is it? 1350. So we can get away with adding like. 68, right? Yeah. So we can get away with a little bit more. Do I. So, okay. Question. Do I want to add. Another react. I can't. It's too expensive. What is gonna. I mean, I could have more batteries. Or. Or. Add more thrusters. That could. That could help with the turning. That actually probably would help with the turning. Should I move it up more? Have it more of a slant? I don't know. I feel like that's probably a good spot for it though. I think that's probably fine. Makes it kind of look like a fish. Um. And probably could get rid of the volt shards. Maybe put in some volt cells instead. They look so ugly though. I'm gonna be honest, they look really ugly. There's there's not really a spot where they don't look ugly. They just wait. <laughs> well, we found a spot where they don't look ugly, but it doesn't quite wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So there's some. There's... <laughs> So there's, there's a few issues. <laughs> there's a few issues. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it there. We're just gonna see what happens. Um. <laughs> see what happens. Um. Okay. I could put in some auto guns. What's the cheapest? Because like the bridge doesn't doesn't actually like, can't put anything on. It. Can you put anything on here? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Can put something on there. Can't put anything on there. Um, what's the cheapest thing that you can put something on? Not that. Seems like it's the the square. Whoa. Yeah, because they would say, like, if you could put something. See, like how it says, like, oh yeah, there's a little E that'll 
come up. Yeah, so it seems like it is the square. Oh wait, it's not. It's actually the semi-gone. It's not much cheaper, but it is cheaper. So... So, we could put, like, something on here. We could, we could leave this. We could, we could leave this. I have a very funky looking thing. And then put semi -gons. And then, put some auto -gons. That's 1408. So. All we have to do is press B. We'll rename this to ship 2. Ship 2. And then. We go to composer. Edit fleet. Get rid of these guys. Get out of here. Load in our ship 2s. Okay, we actually, we, okay. Did I do my math wrong? I don't, did I? Did I really? I mean, 9,800. No, I didn't. I just had more I could have done. Yeah, because 1420... Again, would have been 99. Yeah, I didn't do my math wrong. It's just, there's not... I mean, is there... There's probably more I could add. Are my guys backwards again? They are. Whatever. My guys are always backwards. No, it would probably make more sense to have, like, a wider variety of ships. But, you know, just for now. Just for now. Just... Um, there's a lot of a lot of other guys so I don't quite know why you're all focusing that one guy but there's a lot of other guys that seem to be attacking us doesn't quite seem all that important uh, to be attacking that big guy but there's a lot of littler guys attacking us uh, guys would get turned around. I mean, I guess they... Well, never mind. It'd also help if their aim was a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Boom. See? We did well. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now we can have... Uh... Wait, so our budget is 20,000? What is this? This doesn't seem fair. Their tier is three. They have a size of B. They're like, I, I, what? whatever. Um. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video of Vectored Armada. You know, the one thing I do like is this nice little like 
little section up here where you can just go between things. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video of Vector Darmada. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave me, let me know in the comments and, you know, just leave a like on the video and everything. And, you know, it's, it's a very interesting game. It's not... I wish... I, I definitely wish there was a little bit more of a tutorial and a bit more kind of... Um, bit more of a walkthrough because I definitely you know I definitely need it um oh this guy is what's this guy oh this is the oh. 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 <laughs> yeah um I wish there was a bit more of a walkthrough and kind of you know I mean, you have this little help info, but I wish there was a little bit more of like an instruction, like, or like an instructor kind of going through and being like, oh yeah, okay, here's a, how to build a simple ship. This is what, and I wish there was a little bit less of a, I wish it was less of a sandbox game and more of a, okay, here's how to build a ship, a basic ship. And then slowly kind of introduce the more complex components. Kind of like with Particle Fleet Emergence. Where you have a main ship. You don't really know what each of its components do. But as you play through the campaign, you learn. And you kind of start uncover uncovering like, okay, this ship can do this because of, because of this component. Okay, this ship can do this because of this component. Or okay, this ship is has more thrusters, so so that's how it go, that's why it goes faster. Okay, this ship has more hull components, so that's why it's more tanky. You know, th or this one has this weapon, so it has long range. You know, just things like that. Or this thing has, or this thing can transfer energy because of this component. You know, like I wish there was a bit more of an explanation and a bit more of like a kind of like a storyline. Like I wish, I, I wish the tutorial and like that aspect of it was mixed in with like the storyline, rather than okay, here's the storyline. You you are building ships, and you just kind of have to figure out. Oh yeah, and then there's the I didn't even know about this. Oh wow. And you just, okay, yeah. There's oh wow, yeah. There's a whole lot more to this whole thing. I mean, at least there's, like, a little thing at the bottom here. But, yeah, I just wish there was a lot more, kind of, like, a, a breakdown, a walkthrough of each thing. and Yeah, just how to build, like, a basic ship and stuff. Um, just so it's not, like, a complete, like, okay, yeah, you have to learn this by yourself. I wish there was a bit more of a, of a learning curve, I guess, uh, with this game. So... That's my, that's my, uh, kind of original thoughts on it. I don't believe, I mean, it's, like it says here, it's, it's beta. So there's a lot of changes and stuff that are going to be made with this game. And I'm, I'm very excited to see, because like I said, it does remind me a lot of Particle Fleet Emergence and then that game, Astralid. Uh, can I move this more in the center here? Um, but yeah, just, yeah, like Astralid and... Yeah, Particle Fleet Emergence. It's just a lot more complex. And I do like that about this game. Is that there's a lot more that you can do. There's a lot more freedom with it. But with that freedom. It takes a lot of education. <laughs> um, that you kind of have to do by yourself. Um, so anyone who's kind of getting into this game. Might be a little prepared perplexed at first by and a little bit overwhelmed by all the different things that come with it uh, so that's my only concern is that it uh, they might be a little bit yeah a little bit perplexed by stuff 
but for the most part, you know, this game is great. I love it. I really do. It's very fun. Um, I could definitely see myself playing this game more. And, you know, having a lot of like, like these fleet name, you know, you can have, you can battle fleets. You can, I mean, it would be amazing. Like, you know, there's a, there's a lot to this game and a lot of cool stuff that you could do with it. It's just kind of, I just wish it wasn't so overwhelming, but, um, F2 to hide the, oh, wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that that's honestly it. That's that's really my only critique of it is just that there I feel like there isn't enough like of a walkthrough a breakdown of this game it just kind of throws you right in i don't really know what the right words are to describe it but i hope people watching this especially the develop if the developer luke you know i really hope he's watching this as well so he can kind of listen to what i'm saying and stuff um and then, you know, I have him added as well on Discord. So if he sees this and then has anything he wants to say to me, he's more than welcome to. And then we can go from there. But, um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of a vectored armada. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And, uh, yeah. I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.